Hey y'all, it's Brad, your favorite Charlotte area vlogger. We're going to a Hornets game tonight and it is slam packed. I swear, and it's at three o'clock too. I didn't think it would be this packed. They're playing the Celtics. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know, but it usually takes us about 35 minutes to get here. Or so it's taken us like 45 minutes to an hour. So hopefully I can get in in time and catch one of these Star Wars bobbleheads because it is Star Wars night. So I'll see you there. This place is absolutely slam-packed tonight. Compared to other nights, I don't really get what the deal is. I mean, maybe it's Kimball Walker coming here. Maybe it's New Year's Eve. I don't know what the deal is, but literally, I've never seen it this packed since we moved down here. There's places to eat all over this arena if you just walk around the outside loop. But this place right here with the, it says Buzz City, it's got a little place for kids to like shoot basketball. It's got a couple different restaurants and a, a bar if you're into drinking. So that's a good place to head over there and check out. Remember that place I was telling you guys about? Not wait until halftime to go get food. You want to leave a little bit earlier than halftime. Look at this mess. So we just left the Hornets game a little bit early so that we can go over to the Red Diner and eat. If you look, this is the arena. If you just walk down through here and go to those stairs right in the middle of the picture, there's a place called Red Diner, Red Eye Diner. It is really good, so we're gonna check that out. So after you come up the stairs, you'll see the Red Eye Diner right in front of you. You also have Moe's Southwest Grill, whatever that is, rooftop 210. And let's see, there's a steakhouse up here. Whiskey River, I've never eaten there. Bolero, you can go in and get some food and bowl some with your friends. Here's the menu. You can see the prices are, you know, not terrible especially for an inner city restaurant right next to the Hornets Arena. They catch a lot of traffic coming there and their prices are still pretty good. Here's a glimpse of some of the lunch slash dinner entrees. I've never had those. I usually get the chicken and waffles. Right there is what I get. They have this stuff called firecracker sauce and it is really good. You need to check that out. I think they actually charged us extra last time for firecracker sauce, but honest to goodness, it's worth it. Little guy and the wife are in the restroom right now getting all fixed up. Um, she did great during the game. I, we did notice that when you sit up top in the upper level, that the noise level is a lot quieter. It's a lot lower than when you sit down in the, up, the lower level. We sat down in the lower level during a preseason game and she had to wear headphones. 
but up top it wasn't near as loud. You just kind of run the risk of getting those people that uh, they kind of are there to be loud and uh, party and the drink and things like that, which is fine with me. I just don't do it. Um, I think from now on we're going to try to find seats down below. That seems to be the best place for us. Um, and we'll just throw some headphones on the little gal. Kristen looked it up and found out why it was so busy. Why is it so busy tonight? Because they had the Belk Bowl in Kentucky Beat, Virginia Tech. The what bowl? The Belk Bowl. Belk Bowl? Mm -hmm. And the Bank of America Stadium. We see a lot of Kentucky and, uh, well, mostly just Kentucky and Boston fans. Uh, but that's what probably packed out the stadium today or the arena. She just told me that they had that game the same time that we had our game, so that is not what packed out the arena. I don't know what's going on. Hey. Look down again. Keep looking down. Farther. I'm in your glasses. Hi, world. How's your meal? You ever had the fries at Chick-fil-A? These are a fresh version of the Chick-fil-A fries. Chick-fil-A fries are usually fresh. This, these are. Don't be knocking Jesus' restaurant. Taste them and see what I mean. Taste that ranch wrap. Tell me what you think about that thing. Why do I always get stuff that's hard to eat with one hand? Well, you ordered it. Must be good. You're already eating a second bite. I'm pretty good. I already threw them. Do you like it? Yeah, I need to chub the napkins in there. I stuck with the chicken tenders with the firecracker sauce I was telling you about earlier. I'm going to try that and see if it's any good. That's hot. I mean, really, really good. So that didn't turn out to be as good as what I thought it was going to be. We ended up waiting there for, what would you say, Kristen? about an hour and it took us like what 20 25 minutes to eat yeah. the other time we were just sitting there waiting to get our order taken and waiting to get our check we literally had our waiter come and check on us maybe i'd say once yeah so we sat there without drinks for like 20 minutes um but the food was really good maybe it's just a bad night you know new year's eve and what didn't seem that packed so i don't know but the food was pretty good service not so much called the Tin Roof seems to always have some sort of live music playing. We've never eaten there. I don't think it'd be good for a baby, but the music sounds pretty good. Hopefully the food's the same way. Well, Charlotte, it was fun, but we're going to go home and celebrate New Year's at our house. The baby is beat, and I'm getting that way too. You know, a lot of people say, well, I bet you don't go a lot of different places because that baby's tired, and I'm like, yeah, that's a good excuse. The baby's tired. But tonight's gonna be one of those nights. I'm probably gonna be celebrating New Year's uh, in, on the, my couch in the living room, reclined back, enjoying the cat, the baby, the wife. Uh, but I guess that's it for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and log off. I guess it's that time, guys. It's game over. See you next time.